Hello, I'm Heather Eberts and I'm a Director of Schools at Seattle Public Schools. Seattle Public Schools is following the guidance of Public Health, Seattle and King County, the Governor's Office, and Washington State Public Health in planning for the return of students to school buildings. Preschool, kindergarten, and first grade students and students enrolled in special education intensive service pathways will have the opportunity to receive in-person instruction beginning in March. Seattle Public Schools has been planning for a return to in-person learning since this last spring. All staff and students returning to school in person will need to complete a daily electronic health screening. To limit the transmission of COVID-19, we will be using a cohort or small group approach. Students will be in a classroom of 15 students or less. Preschool students will be in smaller groups of 6 to 10. Students will stay in their classroom cohort throughout the day. To support health and safety, elementary and K-8 schools and every intensive service pathway classroom will be redesigned. District staff has worked with five architectural firms to create cohort zones across our schools with separate entrances, exits, and bathroom facilities. Individual classrooms have also been redesigned, ensuring six feet between students and a minimum of 10 feet in the front of the class for the teacher. When students go to recess, they will remain in their cohort. Students will also eat lunch in their classroom, reducing the potential of interaction between groups. Staff worked with industry leaders to develop criteria, an audit process, and protocols to improve air quality. Steps to increase natural air ventilation, outdoor air flow into the building, and filtration have been implemented. Freestanding filtration systems have been added to select rooms and classrooms as needed. Reducing the risk of COVID-19 transmission depends on all of these strong proactive measures and wearing masks, washing hands, and keeping a physical distance. All of our staff will be provided with personal protective equipment, and each classroom will be outfitted with daily use PPE. Staff will also take required training on appropriate use of PPE. Extra face coverings for students who need them will also be available. We know comfort is really important for our students and their learning. While in-person learning may look different, we are committed to making sure our classrooms and schools remain engaging and joyful. Thank you. Learn more about changes to schools and classrooms and what families, students, and staff can expect at www.seattleschools.org.